Hey y'all, Sarah Luhu here, and we are back again with Detroit Become Human. So last episode, we played as Connor as he went into a sex club to investigate a murder that had taken place there. As we went into it, we discovered that the whole thing behind the murder was that a patron had taken two androids into the room and started beating them to death, which he succeeded in killing one, and then the other one um, strangled him rather than get beat to death. So that was all, yeah, well and good. Anything, and then she ran off to be with her lover, who is another android working in the club. And the two of them fought Connor and Hank, beat the crap out of them. We did pretty good on it. We got a gun on them. And uh, instead of shooting them, though, they were free to go. And Hank was kind of cool to see him go. So it was very interesting. And now I think we're starting back with Kara. He's pretty chill about the whole thing. And then we're just waiting for this to load. It's been a bit since we saw Kara. And oddly enough, Slotko's thing hasn't seemed to come up yet. November 7th, 2038. One in the morning. Luther. Alice is our family. Luther's neutral. Um, where are we at, man? These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Slotko captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Like Zlatko? <laughs> or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Yeah, well, we believe you guys, too. Oh, that's all you, how you holding up back there, kiddo. Okay, um, how about this weather, though? I've never seen snow before. It's lovely, isn't it's it? It's pretty. Yes. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Okay, anything else I can talk to you about? Um, this car. Where did we get it? Is this a Slotko had a car. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. Malfunction oh. detected. Emergency brakes activated. Well, that didn't work out too good. This doesn't look good. Nope. <laughs> nice little feature. Stay inside, Alice. Alright. Let's see what we get here. I doubt it's anything we can fix out here in the middle of the wilderness. <laughs> Yes, what man. Do do? I don't know. There's an arrow back there. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. I mean, there's an arrow. So maybe follow the arrow. Oh, wait, I can move. I mean, this is what you want to do, right? Pirates Cove Amusement Park. Welcome. Over there. Are, are we going to run into pirate androids? <laughs> the ultimate entertainment. Well, at least Luther's handy for transport. We need to find shelter. Check we have to get out of the cold. 
Yeah, I probably have to be Looks quick like about it's it. been abandoned for a while. You won't say. Or you don't say. Sorry, I'm a little tired today. <laughs> uh You! You, uh, work? Beware! Danger always comes when least expected. Okay, not the help I was looking for. And he's probably early generation android. So, not like us. Let's check around here. Another old android. Salmon. Welcome oh, to Jesus. Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. And he's my You're gonna have a whale of a time. Sorry for bringing you back for that, but it looks like you had fun. It's rough. Skeletons. Should we check over? Uh, no, that's nothing. All right, Luther, what do you see? This place is falling apart. Yeah. It's not gonna be easy to find shelter. Didn't it expect it to be? But there's a building there. I don't know. This looks promising over here. Maybe we can break it open. No, that looks pretty exposed in there. So that's an option. One, I'll keep looking a bit. Oh, okay, no, no options. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like the hotel situation again. Do the Kraken Zone! Away! I'll handle this. I bet you will! Strong boy, let's go! It's freaking nothing. <laughs> There we go, indeed. <laughs> so, what was your function before manservant, man? I don't think we'll find anything better. And he's got a fireplace. I'll get a fire going. See, he's on it. <laughs> Magazine! Well, I got time right now, so. USS Iowa missing. American vessel last seen in the Arctic Sea. Uh, destroyer class submarine, the USS Iowa, has disappeared in polar waters. An inquiry is underway, but President Warren has made no secret of her suspicion that the Russians are behind it. Russian aggression just reached a new level. America must respond. Um, the Kremlin has yet to release a statement beyond a blanket denial of any involvement. The Russian diplomat Nabokov pointed out that a U.S. destroyer class submarine has no business being in, Arctic, in the Arctic anyway. Security expert Ben Williams described the situation as a war waiting I'll make to start. The fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Yeah, yeah, we got you. All Android band tipped for music prize. Interesting. Here for you, the latest all Android boy band to be marketed by Detroit record label Digital Harmony is hotly tipped to scoop best new artist at the Celebrate Music Awards. A public letter jointly signed by a dwindling number of human only record labels urged Digital Harmony to withdraw the band from consideration at such award ceremony, citing the erosion of artistic merit in music. 
but with less than 5% of the music market now produced by human musicians, the call of traditionalists seems to be falling on deaf ears. A spokesperson for the band said, Here For You is all about bringing joy and happiness to their fans. The music is all that matters to them, because that's what they're designed for. Alright. Check Luther's bag, make a bed for Alice, and then something else. Woo, lots of stuff. At least we got a nice fire going. Can we check on Alice? He's been very quiet this time. Do you have any thing you want to talk about? Nope. Nobody wants to talk to us. Alright, let's see what Luther's got in the bag. Um, offer cookie. There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. That's probably a bad sign. And we have a gun. Not sure how I feel about that. Might come in handy. Might be just trouble waiting to happen. We'll see. RA9! Nice happy family. What's this? Something on the wall we can take. Something over there. I can make that for the bed. Let's look outside. And then I'm wondering if that's what is that? Ah, oh, that's just the magazine. Alright, was there anything else? Nope. I can look at the RE9, which unlocked something. Good to know. Alright, down with the curtains. Be gone, you wretches. Oh, and a pillow. Works out splendidly for us. I don't know, even with the fire, this is pretty exposed. I don't know how much I like this. Alice? I'm right behind you, she just knows how to teleport. Big old happy family. Optimistic. Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. And Luther? We'll be like them. Will he be with us or? Like everyone else. She's just long for the ride. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Dude, you're just happy to be here. <laughs> Come on. Let's get you to bed. She is so nice. You're ticked in. Never seem to have the best for you, but we try. <laughs> okay, reassure console. Yes. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. That was good enough. Can you tell me a story, Kara? Uh, might as well. I have nine thousand children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. Princess, unicorn, or a knight. Ooh, let's go with the knight. Be brave. This is a story about a knight who... No. no? Not a story like that. Oh? Make one up for me. Okay. Um, get creative. This is a story about a little girl. Who is afraid, maybe? Who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... 
There was a shadow. Keep it. The shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then she met a robot. Yellow. Who was lost. Who was Let's go with that. As lost as the little girl. And they came together. So they decided to run away together. And have a better life. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but they were together. I kind of want to do brave. Together, so they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met. A giant. A gentle giant. <laughs> mm-hmm. Who promised to protect them. How does the story end? Happily. They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. And this one Your better too. Like that. We'll see about that, Missy. I'm doing my damnedest. Time to sleep. At least made her happy. Say good night, loser. Oh, you say good night. Yes. Get over here. Yes, of course. <laughs> Welcome to the family, dude. Baby girl just adopted you. <laughs> Aww. Good night, Alice. <laughs> Sleep tight. Oh my God, it's too sweet. All right, time for a chat, buddy. So we need to make a plan. She's a sweet girl. The yes. sweetest. She's very brave. All right, so that RA9 thing. Have you ever heard of RA9? R.A. 9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. Hmm. Let's talk about you. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. Clearly. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Kara, have you ever noticed anything? Like what? About Alice? No. What do you mean? Oh dear. Ah! That ain't great. Oh, that's a lot of not great. Defense mode, maybe? Okay. Let's protect Alice. Luther's got the gun, so we're set. Okay, question? Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. Okay, cool. We're just like you. I wonder what the dialogue was. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. By breaking in the windows? What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. Indeed we she is. haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. Does it make you happy to see her? The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's... She should follow us then. All Alice, over again. I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, Kara. I don't think you have any choice. Are you going to come with? <laughs> nope, we do not have a choice. I'm sure their primary objective is just to bring happiness to children, so... 
Carousel? Be our guest. Jerry's joined. Reactivate the carousel. The little one can climb on board. They're so excited. The carousel is about to begin. How about us? Seahorse. It's pretty cute. Sorry. Oh, big strong lift. <laughs> At least we picked the one that moves. Looks like the others are just the sitters. Yeah. It's the first time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Is it really? Shoot, it might have been. Yeah, I think that's the first time we've seen her smile like that. <laughs> and stuff. I think we've seen her do like a closed mouth smile, but that was like first genuine joy smile. Yeah, I missed something. All right, let's see. Come on now. Do 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 do. Yeah, there was a bunch of stuff I missed. Dang. Alright, let's see. Pretty much everybody talked to Luther. We looked at Alice, which not everybody did, but most people did. I don't know what that was. Maybe stare at the road. Let's see, car breaks down, blah 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 blah, got to the Pirates Cove. Switch on Ivan. And examine the first android. Apparently there were two other things. Unless they're like the opposite. Like maybe it's like don't examine. Don't switch on. I don't know. I didn't get too close to the building. So there's probably a lot more for me to see. I just didn't look at. Alright. Uh, tavern. We did almost everything in the tavern. Looked at the RA9 writing. Read the Android stuff. Read about the USS Iowa. What was the other thing? Let's see. Oh, good. We can find. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I don't think I've had that before. So we found out that Alice wasn't hungry and all that. But no, this. When. The guys broke in. Does it normally tell us this? Because I don't think I've ever seen any thing like that. Usually it's all blocked out or locked like that. Interesting. So most people chose to protect Alice. A couple went for the gun. You could have gotten a stick from the fire or you could have put out the fire. Which, why would you do that? Could have fired a warning shot, threatened, questioned, or pushed away. Which again, I don't know, warning shot seems a bit aggressive. Pushing is also aggressive. Yeah, okay, yeah, just, it makes sense. Tarkus Google themselves as Jerry's. All right, weird. <laughs> so that's gonna be it for today's episode. Um, sorry to make it a short one, but let's see, thoughts and opinions. Oh my god, they are adorable. <laughs> and stuff like Kara and Alice on their own were cute enough, and now you're adding Luther, who's like this big, gentle giant, as we said in the story, and all that, and he's just seamlessly integrating into the family dynamic <laughs> here. And I hope that makes Alice happy. I think that's kind of what she's reaching for, and it doesn't seem like Luther's too bothered by that. Because it would be one thing if it was, like, kind of, you know, pushing him into, like, an awkward 
you know, role that he didn't want to be in, but he seems okay with it. So it's cute. <laughs> on that, um, cause look, her looking at the poster on the wall is just like, I just want family, a happy family kind of thing. And now we have a mom, we got a dad, and, you know, a dad that's not putting knives in her throat. And, uh, you know, little Alice. Don't have a sibling yet, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Because there were four in the picture. I don't know, we have an army of, <laughs> an army of amusement park workers willing to make her smile. Does that count? <laughs> so if there were so many of them. They must have just been chilling in the frost for a bit because they were really frozen up. Like, I don't know. You had the one out in the snow that was already, you know, kind of broken down. But the rest of them were just kind of covered in the frost, which... I don't know, does that suggest that they're not moving around as much? Or does that just speak to how cold the area is? Because you would think the frost would kind of, like, break and chip away as they moved. So they're trying to conserve energy. I guess it would make sense. I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's it for this episode. It was just a cute kind of feel-good episode. I liked it. We've been having some kind of serious problems lately, so this was really sweet. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on with Kara. Um, guessing we seem to have had a lot of Connor the last few episodes. I'm guessing we're probably going back to Marcus again next so, until then, like and subscribe if you want to, and thank you for watching.